Hey guys, welcome back to the Evan and Caitlin podcast. Today we're going to be reacting to all of y'all's assumptions about us. Oh my gosh, there have been there. Uh, I've been so excited to get to this <laughs> podcast. Like there have been so many great, strange, sometimes controversial, and and just generally interesting assumptions. Yeah, we we had. Uh, Probably 1,500-ish assumptions submitted. There's no way we can get to all of them today. We we tried to break them down into various categories, but we're probably just going to jump around from category mm -hmm. to category today. And if you guys like this podcast, let us know, and we'll do episode two with more of the assumptions because there's so many good ones. Yeah, assumptions about us, our home life, our relationship, our, our social early life, lives, like our work. all sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe let's just start with the general assumptions about us. And honestly, the ones I couldn't fit into another category. <laughs> I tried not to look at the assumptions too much so I can be hit with all of this fresh. Caitlin organized it all. Mm -hmm. But I did see some and they're just they're just so interesting. Like one that stood out to me like Caitlin has horse people energy or okay, something like let's that. Let's start there. <laughs> there were so many. Okay, I, I, I wrote down a, a, a couple of them, but yeah. there were so many. Let me. Can I, can I just search for horse? Yeah, oh yeah, search for horse. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, here we have one from Conrad. I think Caitlin was a horse girl at some point. Um, there's several and uh, some related ones too. Um, from Dyeshri, I think Caitlin was a farm girl. From Ruby, I assume Caitlin was a country girl. <laughs> the, so uh, I didn't really, I don't know why it didn't dawn on me because I've been watching Jenna Marbles joke about how she has horse, horse people, people energy, energy with her super long hair that she never cuts. <laughs> and I never realized that like, I might also have horse people energy. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is like, I'm not and have never been an actual horse person. Horses kind of scared me when I was younger. Not going to lie. I've ridden one maybe twice in my life. I've ridden horses more than Caitlin. Why don't I have horse people yeah. energy? Yeah. Doesn't Evan have horse people energy? I, 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 I rode horses on mountains. I've galloped on them. You got I've, thrown off a horse? I got thrown off a horse off of a mountain. Yeah, you did. Well, not all the way off. Not all the way off. But down like, the mountain. Down the mountain. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's why I was scared of them. Horses are very <laughs> scary. I always thought that I had more cat people energy because that's how I identify myself. You have that too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, too. So you think I also have horse people? No, energy? I was like, you, you definitely have cat person energy. <laughs> um, I do think there's part also of it, so many assumptions about Caitlin and cats. That's like that could be a whole podcast. Yeah, I, I do think part of it, and this was um uh, another another assumption. There are lots of assumptions about my hair. Mm. Um, so I assume Caitlin, this is from Daisy. I assume Caitlin has had long hair her whole life. Um, Haruhi, I assume Caitlin has a really crazy hair routine. Um, so I think the super long hair is part of the horse people energy. It's actually very more just, recent. No, I mean, I've always, well, not always yeah. for most of my life. I've had decently long hair in middle school. I chopped it off and went for the um, Rachel from Friends cut, mm. even though I did mm. not watch Friends at the time. I didn't watch it till I was an adult. And then in college, I chopped it off to where it was like like a very short bob. You look good with a bob. Thank you. Thank you. It was, I dyed it black, um, ha had a short bob and bangs. Definitely um, had a crush on her. Yeah, you did at that time. No, <laughs> no, I had a crush on you at that time. Was that the beginning of... It was junior year. Oh, that was junior year. That's okay, when I had a crush yeah. on you. Sophomore. It's all mixed up. Yeah, it's all mixed up. Um, but yeah, I think the super long hair is part of the horse people energy. But so I I mostly don't cut it because it's really expensive to get your hair cut. And I'm very lazy. <laughs> and I don't like putting any energy into my hair. And so like even leading up to quarantine, I hadn't cut it. Like I had already put it off for a few months. And then... Everyone has to be quarantined. And so now it's like down to my butt and I really want to get it cut. And like even my the dad. The only one available is me. Yeah. Even my dad's like, your hair is getting kind of long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think we want to do a video potentially where Evan yeah. cuts my hair. We just haven't had time to do it yet. It's also interesting that they assume that you have a crazy hair routine, but you've actually like efficiently optimized mm -hmm. your routine to, to, to the point where it's the least amount of time needed. Oh, yeah. To maintain good hair. I've trained my hair to where I don't, I like 
barely have to wash it ever. Yeah, and your curls last like a week. Yeah, I curl it like once a week. I can go a long time without washing it. Um, and I sleep in buns, two buns, where I like twist it in the same direction of the curls. And then, so like if you're watching, I know a lot of people listen, if you're watching to the video, or if you're if you're watching the video on YouTube now, I have like some curls left over. This is probably from like a couple days ago when I spent about five minutes just curling the front because we were about to stream. And the back is straight? The back is straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, uh, it's, it's um, very low maintenance because yeah. I don't like putting time into yeah, it. I don't know why that stood out to me. Probably because it was one of the top voted ones and it was one of the only ones I saw, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> what were some of the ones that really stood out to you? Well, I want to do some Evan specific ones because oh, we had a couple okay. Caitlin specific yeah. ones. Um, oh, here's one about your hair. Okay. This was the top. The top? Yes. The top comment, if I sort by top, it's from Phoenix. I assume Evan grew his hair out longer just once, possibly a mullet or something similar, and it probably went well with the beard. Not at all. <laughs> no, but, but, but you did used to have an afro. I used to have a little bit of an afro. I mean, yeah. my, my hair has been strange my entire life. It's when been I weird. was When I was really young, like when I was a baby, it was more brown hair. And then when I was like seven or something, I had kind of straight blonde, blondish hair. Yeah, dirty, dirty blonde. blonde. And then as I hit puberty, I had dark curly hair. Which and lasted then, like through college. Yeah, in college, I was like curly hair. Yeah. And then like at the end puff. of college, it went straight again. Yeah. Your hair I is weird. I don't understand it. Um, it's been on a journey, but I've never had long hair. Although during swim practice, um, once every year when we went to districts um, and regionals and stuff, we would shave our arms, shave our legs, uh, buzz our hair and stuff. So before we buzzed our hair, we would always do weird things to our hair. Like I shaved like a smiley face into my friends, like uh, the back of his head. I dyed my tips blonde. <laughs> um, I did all sorts of weird things to my hair because I knew I'd shave it off soon yeah. after. So it's like might as well have fun for a little bit and have – strange hair and be able to experiment with it and stuff like that yeah so i think that was that was my that's the extent of my hair journey <laughs> i have um like wondered what you would look like with long flowing locks i wonder how like what like, awkward wait. stages i'd have to go through oh, in order to get awkward. long hair there would be awkward stages there'd be awkward stages where it's kind of like a bob Imagine if it was just like ah. <laughs> right I'd, do, I, like I'd the have to do level. like the, the, the like that's why people do the man bun. That's why you do the man bun, yeah. Oh, to get through the awkward bob stage. Yeah, I had to go through the awkward bob stage, but I was a girl, so it was a little less awkward. When uh, when you were growing it out from your um, mm -hmm. pi pixie cut to the normal, yeah, and growing out the bangs, that's really awkward because I had blunt bangs straight yeah. across. And so those just grow out and like all your hair is long and the rest is just like, you know, it's at your nose, at your nose or it's yeah. at your mouth or it's at your chin. Well, in the bob too, it's like, it was like you had longer hair here and shorter hair at the back. Yeah. It was right? kind of short and spi spiky in the back. Yeah. So that, that was probably the most awkward because normal hair is longer in the back and short in the front. Um, for like long cuts usually. Shows what I know about hair. Maybe I shouldn't have you cut my hair. <laughs> no, it's going to be fun. Trust me. <laughs> uh, one thing that a lot of people assumed very wrong things about us, which is very interesting, how much we travel and our travel history. Yes. Bethany Smith said, I assume that you guys rarely take vacations or trips because it seems like you're always so busy. I would say that that assumption currently... Oh, yeah, currently. Currently is true. Um, the past few years since we started the channel, uh, mainly our trips have been work-related, so like collabs and events. Yeah. Uh, but uh, um, let's see... I assume that you guys were the kind of people that went to a landlocked honeymoon state from Kate V. We went to Thailand. Thailand. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> and but it yeah, was no, awesome. There were um, there were several um, uh, related travel ones um, of people that thought we didn't or like have well, never left left Texas. Yeah, or like didn't um, uh, or like le like grew up in one place mm. mostly. I think we've talked about it in a few past podcast where we talk about our past but we both lived in about seven or eight places growing mm -hmm. up both of us traveled a whole bunch when we were growing up and um i think i've been to over 50 countries you've been to a lot of countries i haven't made a list of them 
Yeah. I, I actually started making a list once and I was like texting my parents and everything. But so much of the travel that I went on was when I was like between three and nine. So I don't remember a lot of it, but yeah. we traveled a lot. Yeah. We, when I was younger, we mostly like traveled within the States because we have a lot of family. Well, you have a lot of family spread out too, but because of your dad's job, it like allowed for international travel. Um, we uh, would travel decently around to like visit family and friends, but we didn't move a lot. So like um, I went to three elementary schools, two middle schools, two high schools, and mm -hmm. you're probably similar. I did <clears throat> three middle schools, one high school. Three middle schools? Middle school is only three years. I did one middle school for half a year. <laughs> One middle school for one year and one for another year and a half. I don't know. Maybe I did four middle schools because <laughs> I was moving in the middle of the year and yeah. we moved out once a year. So I might have done four middle schools, even though it's only three years. <laughs> that's so that's crazy. <clears throat> it's crazy. Your moves were more concentrated than mine. More concentrated. Mine were yeah. more. We moved like every three years. There was a period there where we moved once a year. That's crazy. That was crazy. Hobbies, interests. Oh, and some oh, of yeah. your moves, like you lived overseas. I yeah, know we yeah. mentioned on the podcast, but yeah. I'm not sure if everyone. Um, yeah, in, in, in Dubai, in, in the United Arab Emirates, and in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and um, yeah, lots of places. Yeah. And in terms of travel, we used to take like a big two week vacation every year. We'd save up all of our vacation days. And yeah. So, um, I think our favorites were probably Thailand and New Zealand. Yeah. We, 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 I and, still would like to travel. <laughs> But the main thing that's changed is, you know, we used to really like getting away from work and traveling because it was it was a, an extended period of time for us to hang out, have adventures, have fun experience, make memories that will like last for a long period of time, and like, you know, all of that jazz. But but now we're kind of on an adventure all the time, creating videos, creating content, spending time together, sharing new experiences, like. Like, uh, I think that and there's gonna... like a higher cost to travel now too, because we're working for ourselves. And so, you know, when you get vacation days from work, you just leave. Yeah. You don't feel guilty about. <laughs> yeah. You're like, like, all right. Someone else, someone else is trying to deal with all of the worries. Like this is what vacation yeah. is and I'm gone, but there's no one to take things over for us. Cause we yeah. are our business. So it's harder for us to turn it off. We can do it for like a weekend. We've done a couple yeah. like small trips, but yeah. All right, so we have an assumption from Mary that where she assumes that Caitlin wasn't into any of the nerdy stuff before she met Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Oh, <laughs> before she met Evan. Oh, you assume wrong. <laughs> I would say like um, we were in, we were both into some nerdy things that overlapped and yep. some things that didn't overlap. I mean, but we were both into nerdy stuff like video games, Pokemon, Pokemon. Um, anime, anime. I mean. I, what, what what even is the definition of nerdy anymore? Because nerdy, the, the, the term nerdy is like, is it just like I'm into computer programming and circuitry and like <laughs> by what level of, of nerdiness does it count to be Especially a nerd? Especially when it's like pretty mainstream these days. Yeah, It's, it's like, not like if someone's into Pokemon that everyone's like, oh, you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and also nerd like used to, like I remember back in middle school mm -hmm. days, like nerd was like a little bit, of a uh, negative term, but now it's, I don't think it is a negative term I feel term like it was anymore. more associated with um, like- Personality? Or no, like like caring a lot about how you did in school oh. and stuff. So I was very nerdy in that sense because I was like very straight A. I'd get my homework done before doing yeah. any other In that things. sense, you were way more nerdy than yeah, I was. was. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say you're more nerdy on the tech side of things. Oh yeah, like I enjoy tech a lot. I just like, Oh, look at this tiny little computer that I have. I get so much joy from having this little nine inch computer in my pocket sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So like, I don't, I probably don't nerd out over tech as much. Um, but I would say we are both decently nerds. Both decently nerds. <laughs> um, Rebecca Chavez says, I assume you both have cosplayed at least once. I have cosplayed. Have I cosplayed? Have you? Well, also at a certain I mean, point, what like counts? what counts as cosplay versus just like dressing up for Halloween? Is it yeah. the amount? I think like to cosplay, it has to be something homemade. But you, oh, uh, Tony Stark. 
You oh yeah, I did. I did. I even reactor. shaved my mustache and everything. To or like, be like, like Tony my, my, Stark facial yeah, hair. Yeah, Tony Stark facial hair. I made the little like pew pew wrist thing. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I did. Everyone, I say Nyan Cat, even though I know it's wrong. Yeah. Nyan Cat. Is that how you say it? Right. You also partially did uh, um, uh, Wonder Woman. Well, yeah, that doesn't count because it's not finished. But I did yeah. Nyan Nyan Ni- Cat. Nyan Cat. I always say Ni- Nyan, but we said that and. Um, we, we got, got corrected. <laughs> but so I made like a Pop Tart and Rainbow outfit. Yeah. And like <laughs> like for the the same convention that Caitlin wore the Nyan cat to, I was kind of lazy. So I have so a stormtrooper helmet that's pretty cool. So I just put on a stormtrooper helmet, my old lifeguard shirt, lifeguard trunks, and I was a uh, you're um, a lifeguard stormtrooper. Lifeguard stormtrooper. So lazy. You know, those stormtroopers, I'm sure, have procedures in place to to uh, overwatch those recreational activities, so that uh, the stormtroopers who can't swim have a lifeguard. <laughs> it was just so lazy, random. <laughs> it was mostly like I wanted to go and wear my yeah. costume. Oh, one, one, one thing that tons of people made assumptions about are heights. Yes. This is so funny. I know it's. So, okay. Um, I think it's just because there's a large difference between us. People get confused a lot. People get confused. So uh, here's, I'll, I'll just read two of the assumptions. Um, from Caleb, I assume that Caitlin isn't actually that small and Evan is just a giant. Here's another assumption from Mavin. Caitlin was one of the shortest people in high school and Evan was one of the tallest. So Evan is 6'5". Evan is a giant. I am 5'6". I am... In Normal. average to like maybe slightly on like barely on the taller side yeah. for like a female height. Yeah, I I, right? I I I was fairly consistently the tallest person in my age range all the time. I think I was I was six feet tall in middle school. That's pretty tall for middle school, especially because like most of like I remember being taller than a lot of boys yeah. in middle school. I, I played basketball not because I had any skill in basketball. Just you could reach over it's just because I was so much taller. And I'll just stand <laughs> under the hoop and just catch the balls and pass to people who can shoot. And that's what my utility was. And I accepted that. I didn't play basketball that much. I much rather enjoyed swimming because it was so hot in most of the places we lived, yeah. especially when I was growing up in, in the UAE. And uh, swimming was much more enjoyable than the sweaty, sweaty outdoor sports. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> kind of related. And I think I, I think that um, these next assumptions are also often often related to the height difference. Mm-hmm. Um, from Abby, this is, this is all about our, our respective ages. From Abby, I assume Evan is older than Caitlin, but it might just be a weird social construct because he's so much taller. I think it's the beard. I think the it's the beard. beard makes me seem so much older. When I shave my beard, there is a period in my in, in where I accidentally shaved it. If you scroll back in our social posts, a long way. It was the um alcohol ink clocks. Oh, oh yeah, you can just go to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. but like, uh, oh man, I look so strange. baby faced. <laughs> so baby faced without my beard. Yeah. Related from Caitlin, I assume that there's at least a five-year age gap between you. <laughs> and then from Christy, I'm assuming that Caitlin is much older than Evan by a lot. That's so, so we got, weird. Both I think ways. most people think we get more comments of people thinking that you are older than me. But maybe some people assume that you're older because you're more responsible and I'm more chaotic. Joy. The, the <laughs> truth is I'm three months older than Evan. And for three months out of the year, I get to make fun of Caitlin. <laughs> yes. But we are essentially the same age. We met in school freshman year, both yeah. as freshmen. So yeah. we're, we're about the same age. <laughs> um, I want to scroll down. This is... Um, actually, no. We'll just keep going in order. Should we go to some of this, the, the, the like controversial tea stuff? Oh, yeah. Or should we okay. save that for later? No, no, no. We'll, we'll do like... Well, it's not really well, controversial. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Um, let's go to the drinking, swearing, dirty jokes category. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so from Make Shape Create, I assume that Caitlin is a wine drinker and Evan is a beer drinker. Those would both be wrong because they generally taste gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- th- there is one wine that we enjoyed a ton on our engagement night. That was there's delicious. there's been like a couple beers, but we like... No, no, but that, the, that wine. Oh, that one wine, yeah, yeah, when we got engaged. I have rarely ever liked beer there's a couple beers when they're really cold the um like little kind of fruity ones oh yeah, 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 the fruity wine, the fruity ones. yeah. it's like they, they get them only when we come over yeah it's like the pineapple beer i'm sorry any, I mean, like, I'm not even any sure beer those people are like, uh, those are, are on the fringes gonna... of beer yeah and like back because we did used to 
you know, go out drinking and stuff like in our early or 20s and such. But even then, we would be more likely to get mixed drinks. Yeah. Um, and we both drank a decent amount of beer, but it was like because of drinking games. And that was, yeah, the, it was cheapest, of drinking games. That was the cheapest thing to, to, to drink. Yeah. And but like. And Never uh, fully enjoyed it. So gross. So gross. Maybe Thinking we back think, on it. Maybe we think it's so gross because most of our beer drinking was drinking games. Like, where the, it's the, always like, like the cheap cheapest natty lights or whatever. And like there's been a ping pong ball that was on the floor thrown into it, you know? Like, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, and we've, uh, I think Caitlin has drank more wine than I have. I'm thinking about one story in particular that we're not going to share here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why I don't like wine anymore. <laughs> We use more wine for cooking. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, another assumption from Spider Spider Ginger. I assumed you guys didn't drink or curse when I first started watching. Not saying it's a bad thing that you do either. Um, so these days, I will say we don't really drink a ton. Um, and I don't know if it's because like we're mostly just hanging out with each other and we don't really need alcohol to be like goofy or silly around mm-hmm. each other. Um sometimes like if we go on a nice date we'll like share a fancy drink but it's more for like the fancy drink experience you yeah. know i mean i know that sounds weird but like <laughs> the fancy drink experience. like, like you, 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 just, you just like you just look at those drinks and you're like what the heck yeah i kind of want to taste like like at, at a um melting pot they have like this yin yang drink which oh, yeah, is it's like, like white chocolate white dark chocolate, chocolate dark chocolate and martini. all this like ridiculous stuff and i'm like oh, i kind of want that, that that sounds tasty yeah but mainly cuz it sounds tasty but yeah we don't we don't drink a ton these days i think we kind of got it out of our system a little bit and we don't we don't <laughs> curse in our videos almost at all that was a conscious decision that we yeah. made because we want to try to keep things Family friendly, one, because like we want to be advertiser friendly just from a business perspective. Yeah. But two, it's like, you know, when we when we started our videos, it was something that like, you know, even before we started the channel, we were telling everyone, all of our family, all of our friends, all of our coworkers. And like we knew that our grandparents would be watching and our young nieces and nephews and cousins would be watching. And it was like. You know, we just decided to kind of play it safe on the cursing front. And, and also functionally, I functionally, I don't see how much it adds. Like we can express pain, sorrow, regret. I think it mostly would add humor, things. but like, <laughs> or just like maybe a slight bit more of r- realness. The one time that there's a, there's like two times where we did curse in the videos and they're bleeped out. When I out. fell through the ceiling. When you fell through the ceiling, I cursed and I bleeped it. And then there was once... Um, where we were making the wooden candle holders. Yeah. And we were, you made a sled for the table saw. Yeah. And you said, it's a really blank sled. Oh yeah. That's a descriptive yeah. word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a really bad word sled. Yeah. But, the, but when we believed him out both times, but, um, I mean, but I would like, say off camera, we swear some, I'd say like, also, sometimes for projects on the bench, when I get really frustrated, I'd say like I let loose with like uh, like some f bombs. Like when I'm like really upset and frustrated, yeah. probably like three times a year. When like it's normally if we curse, it's more in like a humorous way. Yeah, it's not really out of like frustration, like. <laughs> I'm trying not to say things because the podcast we also want to keep yeah. family and advertiser friendly. Um but most of our cursing is probably cuz we're like quoting something funny or we're just trying to like make each other laugh. Yeah. And like we we're definitely not opposed to curse words. Like oh, no, not at all. certainly not. I think that they're funny. Yeah. Um and most I think most of the that, content we watch has cursing. Yeah, yeah, but like it's just that's just w- what we want our content to be. Yeah, because I think long term, I think it's just this is kind of smart. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Let's see, Winnie. I assume you guys swear a lot off camera. I think we already addressed that. Uh, addressed that. Addressed that. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple. Some for some of these, I I put um, uh, just a couple different. The wild side of a creative mind. Y'all both secretly have dirty minds when you try to tone it down in videos. <laughs> I'd, I'd say that we, we like, all, like <laughs> while we're not recording and like Caitlin has to cut some things out. But yeah, we make dirty jokes. 
they're funny. They're they're they're, they're so funny. There's definitely like a side of both of us that is kind of like the humor of a 13 year old boy. Yeah, yeah. Um, like mostly. Most of our dirty jokes are very immature. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll leave some in. We'll leave like we'll some that's what she said or like we'll like cut it uh, just the right point or like what I, have I feel you, like you a know? good example uh, of it where I probably cut it like left in the most was the yeah. recent life hacks video. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of like things that we said then we like looked at the camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we'll like, that, like that, that's sometimes. a great way to like keep it family and, friendly yeah, but like make it entertaining it. for the adults too. Yeah. You know, it's like so if, if someone like, understands that joke, it's okay that they understand, to understand that it. joke, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's funny though. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to some um some Caitlin specific and some Evan specific assumptions. Okay. Um so this is from Emma. I assume that Caitlin, like me, is one of those people that gets really f- flustered and frustrated when she gets angry. I'm I say <laughs> I do kind of yeah i would say like i you have, get like so red and flushed i i um i cry sometimes mm, yeah too like when i get flustered and frustrated and and, and and that just makes you more flustered and frustrated and it's the worst like in a professional work setting and it's happened oh, to me yeah. in work settings like talking to bosses before um where like you get so frustrated frustrated <laughs> <laughs> you get so frustrated trying to like communicate what you're trying to communicate. And you're also like stressed and worried about communicating that thing. And then like, it doesn't take much for that to turn into like holding back tears. And then once that feeling starts, then it's just a downward spiral. And then if the person talking to you is like, are you okay? Don't cry. Then it's just like, I'm not sad. I'm only crying because I'm so frustrated. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, how many times has it happened in your traditional workspace versus, like, where we're at now? Not too much at your last job. Your last job wasn't that bad. It still happened, though. I can yeah. think of, like, at least... Okay, so here's here's a silly story I can tell. Um, So I worked in corporate branding for a large company, and I was pretty new. And the CEO of the company... um was in our little marketing department walking around and uh, he needed help with something. And so he and the and the CMO, the chief, mar- chief marketing officer, had come to me and they were like, hey, um, do you want to come? Can you, are you available for a meeting at this time um, so we can discuss this like presentation you know, yeah. for the CEO of the company? And at that time, there was a going away party for one of our fellow marketing people who was leaving. And I was like, I was like, well, I'm not free exactly then because it's so-and-so's going away party. Um, but I'm free like 30 minutes after. And I thought that was like a polite thing to, to say because I, I didn't want to be impolite <laughs> about a previous commitment. Uh, and then, and you know, the CEO was like, Okay, <laughs> but then the CMO, who was who like I was really cool with, yeah, he was really cool with all of us. He came up and he was like, "Did you just put off the CEO for for like an ice cream social?" And I was like, "Uh, um, oh no, was that was that bad?" I was like a couple months into working at this job, and I started getting really flustered and I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin's like radiating heat right now. I'm also she's sweaty. Like, she's right like now. like radiating heat right now she doesn't like socially awkward no i don't i don't (laughs) especially when i cry even just recounting that story so sweaty right now Uh. (laughs) oh that's great that's great yeah i'm gonna go turn on the ac Uh, we'll be right back all right i'll I'll read i'll read uh what, what one assumption about me then while caitlin while caitlin turns down the ac I assume that Evan regularly gets lost, but always has a great attitude about it. You know, it's it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> two sides, two ways that can be interpreted. Getting lost physically, I ne- almost never get lost physically. Evan's got I a mini map. Great in his little head. mini map in my head. In terms of conversations and thoughts, <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah. What were we saying? But <laughs> 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 no, but like I, I, I so so frequently get lost in thoughts and and i i've i've it's something i know about myself it's something i accept about myself and it's something that caitlin accepts too because she loves me and she's great but what i've learned to do 
especially if it's an important conversation. And it's something that really only I only use with Caitlin, but like, I'll say, I have feelings and thoughts about this thing. I don't yet have it solidified in my mind. It's just vague feelings. So I'm going to talk it out. What I'm saying isn't final. And I'll eventually get to like the final thought that I have. And then we'll like talk through and help me determine my, my thoughts. I think it's funny. No, I I think it's, I think it's a a system that works for us. Yeah. I think it's funny when like, like we'll both be working in the office and you're like, I'm going to go do this thing. And you walk into the garage to go do the thing. And like 10 minutes later, I'll get up to go do something. And I see you standing in the garage doorway, just looking lost. It's not 10 minutes. I haven't been standing in the doorway for 10 minutes. No, no, no. You haven't been standing for 10 minutes, but you might've like gone in, got distracted, done something else. And then realized like, what did I come in here to do? And I'm like, oh, you're going to do the thing. And you're like, oh yeah. Uh, Or like, you know, on the way there, I'll be like, oh, I need to vacuum this. Oh, let me put up this box. Let me break this down. Let me organize this. And I'm like, I forgot what I was going to do. It happens to me too sometimes, but it happens to you more. A lot more. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. I thought this one was funny from Laura. I assume that Evan is that one white dude that wears shorts in winter. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Shorts and my mom and is still concerned about it. <laughs> She's like, Evan, sweetie, are you sh- are you cold? Are, are you like? Uh, she gets, she's very concerned and it's very, very sweet. It's, but it's, it's funny that she's, she's been saying that for years. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't. I don't like wearing jeans much, and I don't like wearing closed toed shoes that much. Although I found a good pair of shoes that finally fits me and I'm finally. wearing closed toed yeah. shoes more. Yeah. It took a but yeah, time. like I'd, I'd always wear flip flops all throughout all year for years. Mm-hmm. You know what stopped me? I got, I'm old now and I'm having back issues when I wear flip flops and that's incredibly sad. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> that's I'm the reason. Convince- that's the reason. It's I'm- so sad. <laughs> I'm trying to convince Evan to get some slides like me that way. Like, mm-hmm. Because we both like fuzzy socks. I've yeah. converted you to fuzzy socks. Yes. And when you're in your fuzzy socks, it's really hard to put on flip-flops if you just want to like pop into the garage real quick and then come back inside. But slides, that's where it's at. Evan was a, it sounds like a good idea at the time guy, and then somehow burned off his eyebrows from that's Cameron Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't burned off your eyebrows, but you have almost burned off your eyebrows. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting because I am that type of guy to a small degree. Like I am the type of guy who just like goes for ideas, but I am also very thoughtful about anything dangerous. Yeah. Just because. I think people assume that you are more careless than you are. Yeah. Because like those are the parts that make it into the video, but the hours and days and sometimes weeks of careful planning that Evan does when we're doing anything, especially if there's anything remotely dangerous about it. Yeah. I I mean, everyone doesn't get to see that. Also in my background, I was designing all sorts of things that humans would interact with where safety was required. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my job was stress testing them uh, with pressure, with like, like huge hydraulic presses, crazy RPMs, crazy RPMs and like measuring things with, with thermal vision and adding, uh, pressure, uh, force sensors, all sorts of sensors and like stress testing systems and engineering background. You know, that's, that's what we do. It's, it's all about being safe and preparing and also the industry that we're in was very safety focused too. So, um, that's just, uh, that's just my background. So yeah, I like it, it, but a lot of that is, is, it doesn't, isn't really interesting for the video. So we just cut it out. Yeah. Cause it's just a lot of like behind the scenes preparing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to jump. There's a couple related ones, all related to us and our individual families. Yeah. Um, from Gabriella, I assume Caitlin is the oldest child and Evan is the youngest or maybe an only from pineapple pie. I assume they are both only children mm. and from Harley Rose. Caitlin is either an only child or a youngest sibling, and Evan has a younger sibling. It's so interesting that it's all it's over, all the, over place. the place. It's also so interesting why people assume these things. It's interesting, like to like. You know, well, you know what's interesting? Everyone has like their um, uh, like their stereotypes about like oldest, youngest, or middle children. Yeah. And I feel like we actually kind of fit the stereotypes that I have in my head, but I might mm. have them in my head because we fit them. 
Okay, so Caitlin is the oldest child. I am the oldest child. I am the middle child. Evan is the middle child. See, so the- every assumption about me was wrong. Yeah, every assumption about you is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I I am the oldest, meaning in the stereotype that I find is like kind of the bossier one. <laughs> and I I like at least in my sibling relationship growing up, I was definitely kind of the bossier, but also like the goody two shoes kind of a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's I play by the though, rules more. Because I was semi goody two shoes. But you are also semi the oldest because you and your older brother are just a year and a half apart. Yeah. But I think what and I think I was of the, the middle child for seven years. That's true. Yeah. But what I think of for like a middle child stereotype is actually kind of like peacemaker in a way like the oldest child is kind of like stereotypically slightly bossy slightly goody two-shoes the youngest child is stereotypically kind of spoiled kind of the baby of the family and the middle child is more of like like doesn't demand as much attention from the parents and is often the peacemaker yeah that's what but that's just like what the stereotype that i have in my head i don't know if it's because of that but we 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 do kind of (laughs) fall into those roles a little bit yeah. 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 That's interesting. Um, okay. We have uh, several assumptions based around like where we live and, and being in Texas and, and stuff. And that's so interesting. Well, one, we haven't lived in Texas our whole lives and we grew up all over the place. But it's interesting that just because we're in Texas, there are so many assumptions about yeah. us yeah. because of that. Yeah. And I will say like Texas is where we've lived the longest. Yeah, true. True. You know, we went to college in Texas and we've lived in Texas since college. I'll, I'll be at a couple of different. We've moved a little bit within Texas. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> one assumption is from Ranger, Ranger Raff, um, that you guys off camera have a strong Southern accent. <laughs> no, well, how we speak is how we speak. I will say when I'm around my mom's side of the family, I get uh, a little bit more of a Southern accent. You do. Like when I'm around granny. Yeah. Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, from hail me, I, my assumption, you guys aren't true Texans and don't enjoy things. Most Texans enjoy. What would that be? Like, like I can think of some Texan things that we do enjoy. Like, uh, we enjoy like Tex-Mex. <laughs> we love Tex-Mex. Um, we like, uh, I don't know. I think of like tubing and stuff like tubing is really fun. We haven't done it in years, but we used to, uh, I still would like to go. I still would like to go tubing. Um, you know, I used to work at Fiesta, Texas. Very Texan. Um, uh, I'm not sure what, 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 like, can, what I, can I, I Google, love like, H-E-B. Oh, I love H-E-B. Yeah. What things Texans like. Things Texans love. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like, we love Bucky's. Does that count as yeah, a thing that Texans is love? Yeah, Bucky's is great. Um, Football? Uh, nah. Yeah. Things being bigger in Texas, eh. Chili, I chili? mean, like, I like chili, but I like other all types of chilies. I don't know. This is Texas a, a dumb Texas flag list. and Texas t- shape stuff, nah. <sighs> I don't really care. Um, tacos. Breakfast tacos. Tacos, breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos, breakfast tacos definitely. Love. Live on breakfast tacos. Love it. Barbecue in Texas is really yeah. good. It's mostly, a lot of what we like is food related. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we generally like being in a warmer state. Um, this is related to one question that I saw. Yeah. Um, which is from Mr. Xylonx. I assume you guys are scared of snow, but it's okay. We love you anyway. I would say we're not scared of snow. But I like, like I like snow when I'm on vacation. Yeah, I like skiing. I did snowboarding. Um, I got okay at it, but I like skiing more. Caitlin did a little bit of snowboarding and a little bit of skiing. I like skiing more. Snowboarding was <laughs> painful the on your worst booty. thing. Yeah, it was so <laughs> painful. Um but I would say, like, I don't, I don't really like the idea of living somewhere where you just have to deal with heavy snow constantly, everything being wet all the time, like having to scrape ice off your car. That sounds super not fun, but I wouldn't say I'm scared of snow. I would just say I would assume to not live with it for a large part of our year. And I'd, even though there are, I mean, obviously the heat in Texas in the middle of summer sucks, but I feel like it's easier to deal with than snow. You don't yeah. have to, like, actively deal with it, and you can still be outside. You just, find a pool in a pool yeah yeah um, let's see um we have an assumption from stephanie d neither of you have lived in texas your whole life evan is more of a morning person than caitlin those are two different assumptions <laughs> <clears throat> um 
Yeah, well, we already addressed the Texas one. Yeah. Um, and uh, I am not more of a Evan morning person. Evan is less of a morning person than less, me. I mean, I'm the I'd one that say, gets up and makes coffee. I'd say one day out of the week, I like can get out of bed. Before I do? Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Semi-fast. Yeah. Okay, getting into something slightly controversial. We got a question, an assumption from Sonia Yost. You guys are more right-leaning than left but you don't mention it on your YouTube channel because I think most of your audience leans to the left. So this is interesting. <clears throat> we got assumptions both ways. Yeah. Some, some assumptions thinking, thinking uh, that we're more left-leaning democratic, some that we are more right-leaning Republican. I think, so we don't really talk about politics and it's not something that like we want to make a habit of talking mm -hmm. about, but we are more left-leaning. I th think the reason some people assumed we might be right-leaning is because we're in Texas. Or maybe because like we don't talk. Well, I don't know why not talking about politics yeah, would make yeah. people. Because like there are outspoken people on both sides. Yeah, there's outspoken people the on middle, both sides. And all over the place. It's just not so, something that, you know, really comes up when we're making <laughs> DIY videos. <laughs> we're playing video games. I think that one thing that's kind of interesting though is I think that in our videos, you would be more free to assume either direction but I think that for some reason, if you saw us play video games and you saw us reacting to various circumstances, various characters, mm. various themes. You'd probably assume that we're more left-leaning. You'd probably assume that we're more left-leaning because we're, like, we're being exposed to things and reacting to them in certain ways. And you can judge. You, you, you can make more assumptions because we're being exposed to more things. Whereas when we're in our garage making soap. We're only being exposed to like what we are choosing to expose ourselves to instead of yeah. like, you know, random questions from chat or yeah. like a game we've never played before. Yeah. Yeah. You Stuff know? like that. That's, that's but, interesting. Yeah. And let's just like get all of the, the controversial things right out of the way right now. And it's not, I mean, it's, it's funny. Like your political leanings are like, it's like controversial, especially right now to be yeah. talking about it. The next one isn't, again, it's not really controversial. It's just something that we don't talk about and that's religion. Well, I think because, you know, all, both of these subjects are so complex. They're yeah. so big, they're so nuanced and there are people with strong opinions on both sides. Yeah. And saying a short little summary of a big, a big, a big nuanced, big picture kind of uh, thing theme, yeah, is is hard because you can't. S you there's can't there's fully... no way to express all your nuanced feelings yeah. about something in a little sound bite. Yeah, that's uh, one question of a huge podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's so. True. I mean, we can say that we're we're not religious. Yeah, we're yeah. we're not religious. Um, a lot of people, I would say, most people assume that we were. Hmm. Again, I think it's like because we're in Texas. Um, and because we don't curse, yeah, that was the, a lot of the reasonings given is that, that, that we were in Texas and because like we don't curse on our channel. Someone actually thought I was Mormon, like what? until it, I was in a tank top in one of our clips. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's cause like, like I don't, I mean, I dress kind of conservatively, but it's cause we're like in the workshop or like playing video games. So of course I'm just going to be in like a t-shirt. I want to be comfy. Yeah, I mean, there's that. But also, I mean, like, I think that there are a lot. I mean, this is getting into a whole another subject. Maybe we shouldn't even touch on that. <laughs> like, but like, uh, I don't know. Like, putting yourselves on the internet is, it's, uh, it's an interesting thing. And I think that our experience with it has been very positive so far. Mm -hmm. We have found an amazing fan base. You guys are so awesome. But... Just like I was saying with, um, you know, saying a single sentence about um, like a complex subject. Like I think guys can wear almost whatever they want and they're not going to get any flack on the internet no matter what. But girls are somehow subject to like all this judgment just based on what they wear, which I don't is know. strange. You were getting judged for being a shorts guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but it's just it's just it's just interesting. Yeah. I don't, I typically don't feel judged. I don't think people judge me for just wearing like t-shirt and pajamas. But that's bottoms. because it's like the neutral <laughs> thing, you know? Yeah, that's true. I wear something very neutral, but yeah. it, it was uh, interesting. 
um, to read some of the comments. But but yeah, um, we're 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 not uh, religious really. Um, we friends and family that are religious and that are from very re various religions. Yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of like everybody do what makes you happy as long as you're not hurting anybody else. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Moving on to personalities, I assume that because Evan has such a hearty laugh and big smile that people instantly assume he's the fun one in the relationship from <laughs> Keith Fitz. Kaylin's fun. I think you're more fun. <laughs> I think, um, so I will say like, especially cause this is kind of like, uh, people instantly assume. So I'm assuming like a scenario where we're meeting new people or whatever. Oh yeah. I think like, uh, you are better in situations with new people at being instantly like easy to approach and good with carrying on conversation. And I struggle a little bit more. Kaylin gets more flustered. I get more flustered and I'm a little bit more quiet. And like, if we're in a situation and like we get separated, I think I have more anxiety about getting back together because <laughs> you're like my safety net in social situations. This one's strongly related. I've always assumed that you guys are actually introverts, especially Caitlin. You just seem like a shy bunny. <laughs> That's from Andrea. Um, we are, I, I would say both more introverted, but I think I am even more. Yeah. I think I like you are better at turning on the extroversion when you need to. I, 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 I can be extroverted for periods of time, yeah. but it is draining to me. And I can too. Like, I mean, we go to events yeah. and stuff and I can be extroverted, but I think like, I think the specific thing I struggle with is, um, like reaching if, into a new, like, Oh, if I'm like group. approaching a circle of people or something, that's near impossible. <laughs> or like if I'm carrying on a conversation with someone I don't know super well, I'm not the best at small talking. I feel like you can do that a lot better. Than I can me. do that a lot more. I think I, I don't. I, I don't know if this is at all related. This might just be my personality, and I've been like this for my my entire life. But like, I do remember when I was younger, and my parents would have dinner party dinner parties with their like coworkers and stuff like that. I'd always just like be chatting away with them and stuff. And maybe it's because there was a lot of that in my life, like meeting new people, moving a lot, having to introduce myself to people. Otherwise I was just going to be like all alone. I mean, I had to do that too. Yeah. But I didn't do as good of a job at it. <laughs> I mean, I had like friend groups, but like, were you pulled into them or did you create and push like into something? Um, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. But I also struggled more, I think. Yeah. Like, I would do the the bare minimum to like get a small group of friends and then like I wouldn't really go too far outside of that. At various iterations of myself. And I say that like it sounds strange, but like when I moved, I'd like I was like like what type of person do I want to become and what type of type yeah. of person do I want to be? So I'd like kind of test out different like sides of myself, always being true to myself, but like, you know, I would kind of see who I wanted to be. So it's like, I think that, well, wait, what, 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 where did we start with this? And being introverted? <clears throat> being introverted, making new groups and, how, and stuff like, like that. Yeah. Yeah. How I think I'm a little bit more introverted than you are. There was one place where, uh, and it was like one of the places when, when, when I was in California, I just like had, I, I feel bad saying this and it isn't as sad as it sounds, but I kind of like gave up as much on making friends because I was like, ah, we're going to move again soon. And that's when I really got into like personal uh, personal digital assistance PDAs and video games. And I like would read Harry Potter books in a day. And like, you know, I just read a ton and played a lot of video games. And honestly, I think back on that time is like is, uh, pretty fondly. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I like just having like some me time and just focusing on myself that's not the worst thing every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> and then there were part, parts of my life where I kind of did try to become the social hub and that was nice too. I don't know. I would often find myself actually like latching, <laughs> latching on sounds bad, but I would often become best friends with the person that was the social hub. Mm. And I think that like, I didn't do it on purpose. Maybe I was just like attracted to certain types of friends. Yeah. But like, if I look back on my like best friends throughout the years, it was almost always like, the, you know, whatever girl was like the main party planner, social circle coordinator of the group. 
Mm-hmm. And I wonder if it was like, oh, if I, if I just put an effort to make friends with this one person. No, I don't think so. I don't think I really thought about it. But it's interesting. I was good at being a sidekick friend. <laughs> I was like this, the, the new person sidekick. Let's see. I assume that you have very similar personalities, but Evan is more silly and childish, whereas Caitlin is less so. Mm. I, I would say we're pretty like equally silly. There are times when like we, we both get to like extreme <laughs> silly levels. One thing that is interesting is people assume that we aren't as silly in real life as we are on camera. And I think that we've addressed this multiple times, but I think that there are moments where we are even more silly off, off camera, camera than we are on camera. Now, of course, like we're not silly all the time. That'd be exhausting. You know, oftentimes yeah. we're just working at our desks or, you know. Yeah. I think like in the videos, it's concentrated. Yeah. Um, and I do try to include, I mean, if you watch any of our videos, we're not like being silly the entire time. Cause I think that would be a super annoying video if it was just like a hundred percent laughing and yelling in excitement. Um, but you know, there are a lot of like quieter parts where like maybe we're working on the project and we're not talking like we just spent some time like applying finish to a project and we both put on our headphones and we're like listening to podcasts it depends while we did on it, our energy know? levels you know it's yeah. like at this point we are kind of more tired and the project has been taking a long time so we, we just evaluate discuss beforehand like hey do you want a podcast or chat and then we just go go with that so <laughs> I, this is a funny one uh, from <laughs> yeah. tattle I assume that every 10 minutes, one of you sings a cute or funny short song, like the tin snip songs from the attic storage reno. Uh, that is 100% true. <laughs> it may not be every 10 minutes. But it's, it's pretty daily. frequent. It's, it's like daily. multiple times throughout, a, yeah. throughout the day. And like. They, they go in themes. They go in like. We'll get a segments. tune stuck yeah. in our head yeah. and we'll just be singing lots of stuff to that tune. I'll um, say the majority background song we have is Christmas music. We sing a lot of things to the tune of Christmas songs and to the tunes of various TikToks now. Yes, various TikToks. Just in the past, you know, year or so, or six months since I got addicted to TikTok. And like a few like jingles that we've made up ourselves that like get repurposed into whatever we're doing. Yeah. But yeah, we sing a lot. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I just, I just posted a TikTok where I (laughs) sang. Um, Okay. This is interesting. I, from Vin, I assume that in a confrontation with a stranger, Caitlin is the one doing the fighting, willing to go physical, and Evan always tries to defuse the situation. Do I seem like a physically confrontational person? I don't <laughs> think so. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. <laughs> Neither of us are, are like, uh, we're, we would be more of like diffuse and like get out of there. But we now, don't often now, find ourselves in situations where like... This, this this sounds strange. Like, I would definitely rather prefer to diffuse the situation and stuff like that. But, like, if if things did get physical, I'll definitely step in. Like, like, like I, I get, like, very upset at the thought of someone, like, getting, like, confrontational with you. Like, there aren't many things that upset me. But, like, I would get very upset if someone, like, physically threatened you or something. I don't yeah. know. It just... Oh. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> From Girl Park, I assume that people mistake you guys for being siblings because I sure as heck did. We got <laughs> several assumptions related to that. We do get comments sometimes, people being like, are they related? That's that's strange to me because because we are f- having fun together or I don't know. because we're also, we're not super like PDA ish on videos. So I guess you could watch our videos and not assume that we're in a relationship. I think that's something that like we generally like, uh, like, you know, going back to cursing and various other things that we try to like, we just not, don't want to be that, like, make people uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, not that like showing <laughs> affection is a bad thing, but like, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's also like what, what videos you film are what people want from you like ex- setting expectations and everything. And like, we want people to just come and hang out with us. Yeah. Not like, so we kind of like act the same way that we would if we had friends over. Yeah. Like if there are friends hanging yeah, out yeah, with yeah, us. Yeah. yeah. That's so exactly might, like, the vibe. Give each other like a little hug or a little kiss or something. Yeah. If someone thought we were siblings, it might, <laughs> might be a little confusing, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Do we look yeah. like we both have brown hair? I don't see I don't it in any way. I don't know. But yeah, we, we do get that comment yeah. sometimes that people are like, are they related? 
Okay. <clears throat> From T. Parker, I definitely think you guys would wear hideously fantastic tacky matching Christmas jumpers. I have a hideously fantastic Christmas jumper that I wear sometimes, but Evan doesn't, and I don't know if they make any in your size. <laughs> <laughs> we Mine's really old. Mine's from okay. like high school. In terms of matching, we do very frequently wear the same match that's merch true. shirt. But that's because we wear merch shirts all the time. That's my like primary clothing item that I wear, even when we're not filming, honestly. Yeah. They're comfortable. They're great. They're available at shopevanandcaitlin.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, but like, uh, it's just, it's just, I don't want to put much time and thought into like what I wear. And I know that that's fine. And I might be filming or whatever that day. So I just wear it just because I don't want to dirty like two shirts, yeah. you know? So I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes I do because I used to be like much more into clothes and shopping and stuff. And sometimes like I do kind of like want a slight bit more. I don't, I don't know. Like I think it'd be fun to like dress up slightly more. But like it just doesn't make sense for what we do. You know, like I don't want to wear nice. I mean, even my nice stuff is like. Not that nice. It's just like a slightly fancier t-shirt. Maybe it's got an interesting neckline and some stripes on it. Um, well, like maybe for some, maybe like for cooking videos. Maybe, but then you get stuff on your shirt. Yeah, you get oil splatters I just don't want to like mess stuff. up things. <laughs> Whereas like merch shirts, if I mess it up, I'll just order another one. <laughs> yeah. You know? um, yeah. I think Caitlin's very practical. And I think that's that's why. Yeah, I'm very practical. But I, I, did, I did used to get like... Much joy. Well, I still do when there's an occasion, but I still yeah. like like getting cute. I think you're cute all the oh, time. Thanks, baby. I think you. But yeah, maybe as we continue, like, so we we did a cooking video that was like a different type of video. Maybe like if we're doing your makeup, well, no, then we can get like d d like makeup dust on you and stuff. No, it's not that big. I, I don't. Not that big I don't deal. put on very dusty makeup. <laughs> you don't just like spray dust on you. <laughs> Only sometimes. <laughs> okay, this one is this one is so interesting. BBG assumes that you guys are extremely chill and lazy couple that isn't super adventurous. <laughs> Would you consider jumping out of airplanes adventurous? Or scuba diving shipwrecks? Or scuba diving or going canyoning? Yeah. It's so interesting because mm. like generally we are chill. Or quitting your jobs to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> we are pretty chill, but we are also adventurous and not in any way we Crazy. we struggle with taking breaks pretty significantly like to the point where it might be slightly detrimental so we have a really hard time being lazy now this is something that i would say if i think that i do have like a, a, a generally lazier personality but at the same time i have a strong commitment to follow through with things i start and we have started so many youtube channels and that takes an <laughs> ongoing commitment that you have to keep up with. Mm -hmm. um, there's expectations all over the place. There's sponsors and there's commitments. And like, I Production take that very schedules. seriously. Yeah. But generally, I think that I would be lazier if it wasn't for all of that. And it if it wasn't for like the value that we were building, the like strength of our brand for the future, the channel, all of that. And like what it, the security that it provides for us and all these other things. Um, but at the same time, like I worked really hard at all my jobs too. Yeah. That didn't provide that. Yeah. And all these other things. So <sighs> I think we have a hard time not being productive in some way. We can do it for like, like we can like take a break at the end of the night to like all read and like you'll play some Minecraft or something now, for like an hour. I'll say when I was, when I was single for a little bit before dating you, I sometimes would like take a whole day and play video games all day long like on a saturday or something I'll i haven't play, done that since high school i'll just play video games all day long i remember i played like skyrim like well one day and i just played skyrim all day <laughs> and like honestly by the end of it i was a little bit grossed out with myself <laughs> i just like ate ramen and cereal and takeout and stuff kajra mm. 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 anyways um <laughs> but but I, I don't want to do that much. That's like, yeah. Yeah. I don't really know where I was going with that, but. Yeah. I would I would say um, I don't think you can have a YouTube channel that you're doing full time 
and also be lazy. Be, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can maybe have, be a little bit lazy if you've gotten yourself to a point where like maybe you can take weekends off, yeah. but we are far from being able to take weekends off. Now, I think that like, interestingly, of all of the crazy things which we've done, scuba diving, uh, jumping out of airplanes and parachuting, parachuting? Ooh, caved, oh, skydiving? Uh, skydiving. Cave yeah. diving. Cave diving. Um, uh, uh, cave Can- tubing. Ca- yeah, well, that's what I meant. Oh, the yeah. Cave tubing. <laughs> cave tubing. Um, um, canyoning. Uh, oh, um, sea cave boating. Remember yeah. when we went to the sea caves? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. It's mostly on vacations because like, there's vacations. not that much crazy stuff you can do around here. Yeah. Um, but I think of all of that, the biggest, most exciting, most rewarding adventure we've been on, it sounds so corny, but I'm a corny person. You are corny. I love is starting this YouTube channel with you. Yeah. It's been the it's most been the exciting, the most rewarding, the most like fulfilling, like the, like, like the memories we've made doing this and everything. And, and just the whole adventure of it is, is, has been so exciting and having someone to share it with, I certainly wouldn't be able to do this by myself. No Me way. Either. Not, not just the workload. Cause both of us It'd share be too the workload. emotionally exhausting, too emotionally exhausting. And like, I wouldn't, I, I don't, it would be much harder to share the true joy of all the wins mm-hmm. with someone who wasn't doing it with you. Now, yeah. I could be completely wrong because we're not. We've never been in that other situation. We've never been situation. in that situ- uh, the other situation. But like, it's been so great sharing all the successes with someone who knows how much went into this. Mm-hmm. And when things go wrong, we can talk each other out of that stress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we might need to uh, wrap up the wrap assumptions up. for now. We still have so many we, we can we go into. We didn't even get to a third. No, we still have so many assumptions about oh when we were gosh. younger, yeah. about our social lives, about our home life, about our work, about our, our relationship. relationship. We maybe hit a quarter of them. So yeah. we're going to go into our thing of the week. But um, <laughs> if you guys liked this, let us know. We would love to answer more of these because there's yeah. a lot of very fascinating ones that I would. I think it would be fun to address. It's so interesting to see the assumptions. This is a great topic. This is a great topic, uh, and we oh we, we need to acknowledge that this isn't something that like we came up with originally. Oh no, it's well, a trend it's, on it's YouTube. It's a trend on YouTube. Yeah, They're, like we didn't get it from a single individual person. It's just like we see it a lot. A bunch and of we're people like, have done we, it. We should we should do that too. So yeah, um, it's interesting. Okay. Do you want to go with your um, YouTube recommendation? I'll do a product recommendation. Yeah. Thing yeah. of the week. Cue music. Okay. So my thing of the week is a channel that popped up on our homepage. And I think it's because we watch a lot of uh, Drew Gooden and yeah. Danny Gonzalez. Yeah, it's like because you watch it was Drew and Danny Gonzalez that got fa- like helped us find him. Uh, but his name is Jarvis Johnson. Um, and he does like just very funny commentary. If you like Drew or Danny's channels, um, I think you'll like Jarvis's channel. Um, Great like dry commentary and humor. So many puns. Tons of puns. I respect the pun game <laughs> very much. Um, and I would say like if, you, if you're looking somewhere to start on his channel, he does some really hilarious uh, like commentaries on really bad reality TV. So like... The Bachelor, Bachelorette ones, the Love is Blind. Love is blind. <laughs> but he also does like you like commentary on YouTube drama or like oh, yeah. just like all sorts of like weird sketchy YouTube channels. Oh, of which there are a lot. Yes. But um, um but we've been liking his his videos. We've been kind of binge watching them yeah, <laughs> recently. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my thing of the week is something that I got from for myself because I kept on stealing Caitlin's. Yes. <laughs> so um a while ago it's like because I, I worked at a company that like had like a person that went around and helped you be ergonomic at work, which I should like get back into my ergonomic position. As you adjust like, your chair. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I should I should be better ergonomically. Look, I am perfectly ergonomic now. I'm um, not. <laughs> but Caitlin has some bad ergonomic habits at a desk, and we spend I really do. so much of our time at desks. You know, like majority of most. Majority of our work time is at desks, especially Caitlin, because mm-hmm. she edits them. Uh, you know, and she, we, we have a lot of. Anyways, anyways, this is besides the point. But um, you know, so I, I've had a lot of like ergonomic habits drilled into me, and one thing that I see that have that I've seen that has helped with sitting properly at a desk is you get a little foot rest for your feet, and that kind of helps align your whole body. It, it, it you know, you can look up like proper ergonomic postures online. But there, anyways, there's a little foot rest and I kept on stealing Caitlin. So I got one for myself finally. So now we both have little feet rests. And if, if sitting at a desk is something that you do a lot, 
you should maybe look into um, a footrest and also raising your monitor up higher because that's the other big yeah, thing yeah. that I see a lot of people not doing well um, in terms of their ergonomics. Looking and down at monitors, bad. Straight neck. The, the top of your monitor should be about level with your eyes when you're sitting up straight. And the footrest specifically, it's um, so it's a little freestanding thing. It's like a little foam, cushion. like a little foam cushion that's domed on top and it has little grippy things on the under, underside so it doesn't slide. It's very lightweight, easy to keep under your desk, easy to like scooch out of the way when you don't want it and like pull back with one socked foot when you do want it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. We both yeah. have one. And I think that that takes us to the end of the episode. Wow, that that, that was a long episode. Time went yeah. by fast. I know. Time went I by really want. I hope you guys like this episode because I really want to react and answer to more of the assumptions. Heck, so maybe let us know. Maybe even if they don't like it, we'll still do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and and as always, we really appreciate seeing those reviews. They're always a like, great pick. Pick us up. If we're having a bad day, we just like looking at the podcast reviews because they're the most wholesome thing. Um, so if you are so feeling inclined, you can leave us a review on the Apple iTunes store. It helps people find us, but I'm not sure what people would do if they found our and podcast on no. like iTunes. They'd be so confused. They're like, who are these people and why are they talking about these things? Who cares? Anyway, let's confuse people <laughs> by <laughs> boosting our <laughs> podcast in the ranks so that people who don't know us find it. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you're having a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>